Hey everybody, hope you guys are healthy and safe. So I am back with another one of my crazy ass late night video sessions. So right now it is Friday night, 2.47 a.m. And I am here working, making a video. My girlfriend's out with her friends drinking and I'm here working. Anyway, this is the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. If you follow my channel, you already know I've been covering this phone to death because I thought this phone was very, very unique because it has a 50 megapixel main camera with a brand new Sony IMX989 sensor that measures one inch in size. And the camera also uses Leica optics. So these are very headline grabbing hardware components and it makes this camera very special, but it is not unique. I thought it was unique, but it is not because I have here the Sharp Arcos R7. This phone also has a one inch Sony IMX989 sensor and it also has Leica optics. So it's the exact same camera hardware as in the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. Now, I'm not going to compare these two phones side by side to be, to be honest, it's a no contest. Xiaomi beats the Sharp Argos R7 in just about every other way. It has a newer Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 chip. It has an ultra wide camera and a zoom lens. This phone doesn't have an ultra wide camera nor a zoom lens. And the overall software experience is just not comparable. Sharp's software is pretty rough. Although to be fair, the Sharp Arcos R7 does win in one area, is that this display, it's a 240 hertz panel. The refresh rate is 240 hertz, so double the refresh rate of the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. But to be honest, I can't really see a difference between 240 hertz and 120 hertz. Anyway, I'm not gonna talk anymore about other parts of the phone. This video is just gonna focus on the two main cameras because it is 2.47 a.m. right now, and if I talk about everything, I'm gonna be here till 5 a.m. And I don't want to do that. And by the way, um, I didn't get this phone from Sharp. I got this from Trinity Electronics in Hong Kong. They are Hong Kong's number one phone importer. If you're interested in picking this up because you're a collector, Trinity Electronics ships worldwide. So you might want to check with them if they can ship the phone to you. If you want to buy it, it is expensive though. It's like 1,400 US dollars. So the fact that both of these phones have the exact same camera hardware means whatever difference we see in photo and video quality will be entirely down to software processing. So I've snapped over a combined 125 photos over the last two days with both of these phones and I am noticing some trends. So before I show you samples, let's go over the trends really quick. So a lot of the stuff that I really like about the Xiaomi 12S Ultra's main camera, such as that really shallow depth of field, is also here. Of course, that makes sense because they have the exact same one inch sensor and the shallow depth of field, it's a result of having a really large image sensor. The Xiaomi 12S Ultra also keeps shadows darker than most other modern smartphones. Like instead of pumping out an image that's like super bright, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra likes to keep contrast. That's that Leica look. And I'm noticing the exact same look is here in the Sharp Arcos R7 because this is also a Leica tuned camera. However, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra's camera is just a little bit more polished. So for one, it has a much faster autofocus and a much more intelligent autofocus. So right here, you can see that if I pull the camera in and out towards this plant, the camera will focus really quickly on either the leaves in the background or the leaves in the foreground. And it keeps focus on the one that's closer to the camera lens every single time. The Sharp Arcos R7 could not do that. Like you see right here, I'm pulling in and out and the focus is just remaining on the leaves in the background the whole time. The difference in shutter speed is noticeable in these two shots. I snapped both of these photos at the exact same time as my fingers hit the shutter button at the exact same time. The slow shutter speed of the Sharp Arcos R7 also results in blurry photos from time to time. If you look through my photo gallery right now, there are four or five photos that are just completely blurry because I accidentally moved the phone before the photo finished shooting because the shutter speed is so slow. Now this is even a bigger deal when you move to really low light conditions. The Xiaomi 12S Ultra, even in really, really dark scenes like right here, will only push like a half second or one second night mode. Whereas the Sharp Argos R7 would do like a two and a half second night mode. And the Sharp Argos R7 doesn't seem fine tuned enough to handle the micro shakes of my hand. Because you can see here, I'm keeping the camera still, but look at the shots that come out. The Sharp Argos R7's image is still quite blurry compared to the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. So the Xiaomi 12S Ultra is just a more polished camera. It won't make mistakes as often as the Sharp Argos R7. However, when the Sharp Argos R7 does get the shot right, 
it is neck and neck with the Xiaomi Trovis Ultra in photo quality and that's damn impressive. Anyway, enough talk, let's look at photo and video samples. Okay, so I have all my photo samples here separated into five categories. So we'll look at day photos first because these are the easiest shots to take. Okay, so for every side-by-side -side photo comparison, the Xiaomi image is on the left, Sharp Arcos R7 is on the right. So both of these shots look pretty good from afar, but if we pixel peep, we can see that Xiaomi's image is just a little bit less noisy. There's a lot of digital processing here in this dude's purple shirt. And if you move over to the trash can, it seems a little bit noisy here and this orange doesn't look as vibrant. Likewise, if you move up to the sky, Xiaomi keeps the clouds a little bit. I mean, there weren't much clouds on the sky that day, but you can see some semblance of clouds right here in the Xiaomi shot. Whereas in the Arco shot, it looks like a white sky. Oh, and then if you look at this building, it's a little bit sharper in the Xiaomi image than in the Sharp Arcos image too. So, you know, it's a very close call, but once you pixel peep, the Xiaomi image is just a little bit better. And that's gonna be the theme for just about every photo comparison. Now, moving on to the second set, same thing. It looks pretty good from afar, but then you jump into actual size. And the Xiaomi image is just a little bit sharper right here. Look at this window. You can see the faces of these uh, models. You can read the text. It's a little bit blurry here. You move to the window, again, it's much sharper here. Look at this text up top. Look at these faces right here. Every part of the frame, it's a little bit sharper in the Xiaomi 12S image compared to the Sharp Arcos R7. Okay, now let's move to natural bokeh. So this is basically, I'm taking a picture of something kind of up close and to see the creamy natural bokeh that you get from both phones because they both have one inch sensor. This is where Sharp does a damn good job. You do see that the depth of field effect, the bokeh is a little bit stronger in the Xiaomi image than in the Sharp Arcos R7. Like if you go in closer a little bit, you see this lady in the back, it's a little bit more blurred out than in the Sharp Arcos R7. But honestly, I'm really nitpicking at this point. If you look at the Sharp Arcos R6 image, just by itself like this, this looks perfectly fine and it looks very aesthetically pleasing. Now move on to another shot. This little cute doggy right here. Again, both of these shots look really good with really natural depth of field. The depth of field again is stronger in the Xiaomi than in the Sharp Arcos R7. Let's go into this uh, doggo's face. Once again, Xiaomi shot is just a little bit sharper. You see right here, it looks very soft on details right here. Next, we're moving to contrasty shots. So these are shots with parts of the frame that's really bright and then parts of the frame that's really dark. And you see both of these shots look very similar. Sharp might have exposed the sky a little bit better. It was a very tricky sky to expose. I guess you can give a wind to Sharp here. Xiaomi is blowing out the clouds right there a little bit. If we move down to the road, I think Xiaomi's colors are a little bit more accurate than Sharp's right here, but otherwise, sharpness everything it's very very similar now we move to kind of dark scenes so these are photos captured at night but because hong kong has so many city lights it's still not super super dark this is perhaps my favorite shot i captured with both cameras and both shots just look so good this is like a virtual tie i really can't pick a winner if you look at the sky the purple sky both phones expose that purple perfectly if you look at the building right here on the right this weave building you can see all the lights are exposed properly in both shots. Now we move on to this next set. Here, I think it's a clear win for Xiaomi because it exposed the neon lights a little bit better. And the leaves look a little bit more natural in Xiaomi shot too, compared to Sharp's, which is not that sharp. And it looks a little bit overly processed. Yeah, Sharp shot is just soft on details, every part of the frame. Now this is an interesting shot here. Here you can see that the Sharp Arcos R7's image is noticeably brighter than the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. I believe it's because the Sharp Arcos R7 turned on night mode for this, while Xiaomi 12S Ultra did not turn on night mode. So, uh, you know, it's a matter of preference. The Sharp Arcos R7 is a brighter shot, but then the Xiaomi 12S Ultra is more natural and conveys the mood a little bit better. So this set is also very close in terms of color, sharpness, dynamic range. We can call this one a tie. Now moving to really dark scenes, I've already showed you two of these samples. These are the samples that the Sharp Arcos R7 just could not get right. It was blurry in every shot, whereas the Xiaomi 12S Ultra was able to grab a clean shot in one go. Now this is the only other example I have of this dark alley. And once again, it is uh, night and day. You can see how much sharper the Xiaomi 12S Ultra image is compared to the Sharp Arcos R7. 
And um, excuse this uh, watermark down below, I accidentally turned it on for the shot, but um, there's no contest right here. When it gets to really low light photos, the Xiaomi Trovis Ultra just wins completely over the Sharp Arcos R7. Moving on to video recording, although I do like the colors of Sharp's footage a little bit better here, Xiaomi has a little bit better stabilization as I take steps. So overall, I think you guys will all agree that the Xiaomi Trofest Ultra ultimately has a better camera, but the Sharp Arcos R7 put up a good fight in a lot of the shots. And a lot of the stuff that I really like about the Xiaomi Trofest Ultra, like that shallow depth of field and the more contrasty colors are also here. Like ultimately, software processing matters a lot and Sharp's software processing is just not on the level of major smartphone players. Xiaomi is a major smartphone player. Sharp is unfortunately not a major smartphone player. If you look at smartphone global market share, Sharp probably wouldn't even crack the top 10. So ultimately, while Sharp is a respected electronic company, I'm pretty sure they make other good products, their smartphones are beyond niche. Their smartphones are almost like made for hobbyists and enthusiasts and collectors. That's about it. It has no mainstream appeal. And despite that, the phone's camera still perform pretty well. It just can't beat the Xiaomi Trofest Ultra. So yeah, that's about it for this video. So I'm gonna finish editing this, put it up on YouTube, and go to sleep. It is a 3.17 a.m. right now, man. Yeah, thanks for watching.